Most cyclocross courses will have at least one point where you're forced to dismount your bike. This could be some steps, a hurdle that you're unable to bunny hop over, or a steep incline. Also, if conditions are bad or deteriorate as the race goes on, you may find it quicker and more efficient to get off and run some sections. Watch top cyclocross racers, and their fluidity dismounting and remounting is slick. There are a few techniques used for dismounting. However, the step-back dismount is the most suitable if you're relatively new to cyclocross. So it's better to master this technique before trying out another. Shift into an easier gear that will allow you to accelerate after remounting. Make sure your hands are on the brake hoods or bar tops, not on the drops, and dismount from the non-drive side of your bike. Look ahead where you want to go, not at the obstacle, and adjust your speed if necessary. With your left pedal at six o'clock, unclip your right foot and swing your leg over the saddle and back wheel. Rest your right foot behind the left foot. If the ground's rough or you need extra stability, keep your hip in contact with the saddle. Simply unclip your left foot as your right foot drops to the ground behind the pedal and then begin your running action. Look ahead for a good line and running with the bike on your right, position both hands on the tops or hoods. Spring off your left leg and swing your right knee over the saddle. You'll only land in the wrong position once. Aim to get your inner right thigh on the saddle and slide into your seated position. Clip in or put your right leg on the pedal. Don't tentatively feel for it. If it's very muddy, you might need to clear your cleats by banging them on the pedals. Start pedaling as soon as the right foot is engaged. Clip the left foot in as quickly as possible and off you go. Stay relaxed and practice these techniques at a slower pace to begin with before gradually getting faster. Take time to master these key techniques and you'll definitely find yourself moving up the field.